Hi guys, welcome to another teardown video. This week we're looking at an extremely interesting switch a viewer sent in recently, Omron B2H, which is a triple magnet clicky hole effect switch. The idea behind it is absolutely unique. I've never seen anything like this before. The whole effect bit is fairly standard, but the clicker is a really cool concept based on a set of anti-parallel counter-moving secondary magnets. More on that in a bit. I've previously explained in detail how the whole effect works, but in short, you use a magnet embedded in the slider, which is this small cube thing here, and a hole sensor to sense where the magnet, and therefore the slider, is, which allows you to gauge whether or not a key has been pressed and how far. In this case, it's a four pin semiconductor with very long and slender legs poking out the bottom of the housing. Fairly standard so far. There is also a small diode in there for two more contacts and a fixing pin for a total of seven pins, which is quite a lot for a single switch. In a 101 key keyboard, that's 707 solder points just for the switches. By the way, a word of warning, these switches are held closed by four very long, slender and especially fragile plastic legs, which you have to peel away to pull the top housing off the bottom, which is almost impossible to do so without damaging them, although it is technically possible to do so without desoldering the switch at least. Anyway, I'm glad I asked for two switches as always. <laughs> So you've got one magnet in the slider and then the clicker consists of two more magnets located on the opposite side of the switch from the hole sensor. One of the magnets is, again, embedded in the slider and the other can move freely up and down in a track in the housing. It's aligned anti-parallel to the slider magnet so by default it's repelled and kept in the downward position because the slider is at the top obviously. But as you push the slider down the two magnets eventually pass each other's midpoint and then they start to attract each other instead which makes the clicker magnet shoot right up and the impact of this against the housing is what produces the clicky noise. Quite ingenious. The flipping itself causes a small variation in force, which manifests itself as a small tactile bump. Harta actually has a force curve of these in which you can see that. It's about 10 grams in magnitude and very sharp. It's also quite far down at 3 millimeters, which leads to an interesting key feel. Somewhat uniquely, this setup leads to a contactless mechanical clicker system, which is awesome on so many levels. Think of it like this, any friction the clicker encounters during its operation is not passed onto the key travel. It also has inherent mechanical hysteresis, but not electrical, although it's trivial to arrange that using a Schmidt trigger. And of course, the flip also occurs backwards, so it clicks on the upstroke as well, although the upstroke click is a lot more subdued. Another interesting detail is that it includes rubber dampeners for suppressing switch clack in both directions, just like they later did with Alps SKCM switches. So this is a very rare example of a dampened clicky switch, another thing that makes this so unique. It's also got a bunch of parts that seem rather redundant. The fixing pin itself is arguably already not that useful in a switch that already has six pins even without it. But the fixing pin has its own retainer plate inside the switch. And a slider magnet also has a metal plate behind it, which doesn't appear to serve a very distinct purpose either. It's not exactly an exercise in simplicity, these things. Someone asked me if this was a vintage design or a modern one, but <laughs> clearly it's far too innovative to be a modern switch. It is in fact a late 70s design. It would be cool if someone picked up this idea though. I've seen one or two projects where people make switches inspired by cool old switch designs and do something interesting and modern with it. Tentative to be continued and hopeful <laughs> semi segue here. The switch consists of 13 parts, the upper housing, the bottom housing, the hole sensor, the diode, the fixing pin, the pin retainer, the slider, three magnets, the magnet plate, two dampeners and the coil spring, making this an exceptionally intricate switch, which is probably not that surprising given the apparent level of redundancy. That's it for this video guys, and see you next time.